Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So this is part 134 of this series now, I mean that is that is awesome. So part 134, yeah we have got one system to do from the user reset in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this in. And yeah without further ado we will get straight into this system. So here it is up here, so it's the DTAR system updated. So let's see what we have got in here. Right. Okay, so there is no... doesn't look like we have got any description. Okay, so this is the system. Right. So we can see here there is 3,000 objects. I'm guessing there's a ring system hidden somewhere. But yeah, since there's no reading, we can get straight into this. So we've got a yellow star. Quite a cool choice, actually, having a yellow star like that in the middle. Right, onto the planet. So first up, we have got Kepler 253b. So here we go. It's also getting yellow starlight on it, which is quite cool. We'll turn off the orbit mode. There we go. So yeah, Kepler... Right here, it's at 500 degrees. It look, is that oceans it has on it there? Oh, it is. It's got that glitch between the like lava and ocean glitch. That's pretty weird. I mean, maybe it's intentional, maybe it isn't. We can see it's smoking up a bit behind as well. So composition, it's a lot of water. But yeah, it looks like it's a uh, super, super hot ocean world there, which is quite cool. So a lot of that would evaporate over time. But yeah, there we go. So that is the first object. Moving on to Planet 2, we have got a green version of Mars, eh? I remember, I remember this. Wait, where is it? Mars? We can see it there. Uh, it disappears. We may have a problem. It may be broken, but yeah, you can see, uh, you can see the planet up here. I actually have a version of the Mars like this in one of my own systems. But yeah, there we go. So that is it there. So yeah, it's a green tinted Mars with a blue atmosphere, white clouds. Kind of unfortunate it's not loading up, though. I mean... Yeah, that's a shame. But oh well, we can still see it in the picture up there. Very, very nice looking object indeed. So there we go. Right, next object out. We have got this one. Right, so what have we got here? Right, so it's a mostly blue world as we can see here. Back to realistic mode. Yeah, the yellow starlight. Got some city lights on it as well. Looking good. So city lights, but yeah, mostly a default looking world with some city lights added to it. And then the starlight giving it a slightly uh, colour change. So there we are. Right, next object we've got Eunice over here. Whoa, look at this one. Right, so it's very ocean heavy. As we can see here, again, uh, the yellow starlight. It's also got one little moon around it, very, very close to the parent planet. That'd be quite a cool picture, actually. Maybe we'll have to come back to that for something. That does look pretty awesome. And yeah, here is um, Eunus here, the planet. So there we go. So yeah, mostly ocean world. Doesn't look like there's any atmosphere on it, though. So yeah, I don't think you'd get any uh, life stat, yeah, because there's no atmosphere. But yeah, pretty decent Earth similarity there at 90%. So there we go. Right, now moving on to the next object out. We have got Nessin over here. Again, rolling with city lights. Okay, this one must have some good stats. It's got an atmosphere. Let's see here. 91 and 75. Yeah, pretty solid stats there. Very, very nice. Uh, if we go on to studio mode, there is a full look of the object without any uh, starlight uh, messing it up. So, yeah, some decent patches of ocean or water there. White clouds. Very nice there. Yeah, it's good that you can now have systems with white clouds with um, any color atmosphere. I think that's a really, really cool addition. And then it's also got some moons. So there they are there. Alrighty, so there we go. Moving on. Right, where are we heading next? So we are now heading to this world over here. So it's an all or all through uh, frozen ocean world here. So yeah, all three is nice. So at minus 31 degrees. Yeah, very, very, uh, yeah, got a decent amount of water on it there. But yeah, there we go. So fully frozen up, blue atmosphere. So there we go. Right, and then onto the moons. So there we go, some... Basically, just simple little asteroids by the looks of it there. But yeah, there we go. So there are all of those guys. Alrighty, now moving on to the next one. So yeah, we've done that, right? So the next one out here, Innes Tustach. So this one, here we go. It looks like it's got one of those weird line glitches um, on it there. But there you go. It's got some city lights. We'll go back to realistic mode. So there you go. You can see the city lights looking good. And then over here, we have got a moon, quite a large moon, actually, compared to the parent planets. Got a little eclipse going on right now there as well. And this one is uh, pretty frozen up by the looks of it as well, at minus 270 there. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that's correct, though, because the game does sometimes does put them straight to 270. Um, there we go. Right, moving on to the next one over here. So we are on to gas giants now. The first of the gas giants appears to be a little larger than Uranus and Neptune at 30,000 in radius. So there we go. Set of rings. And then onto the moon. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, onto the moons. It's had a little hiccup there. But yeah, onto the moons. So there we go. All of those guys. And then there is one more out here. Yep, there we go. So a bunch of asteroid moons. Very, very nicely lined up. Damn, I, I, this really makes me want to make or get back into making systems again. Especially with all of these new, uh, 
all these new settings you can do like if we just look down here like the cloud color the interface color atmosphere color like all that i, I definitely need to get back into making custom systems i think that'd be really cool uh, all right moving on we have got this system over here on this planet sorry so yeah here we are so this is another rocky world it appears to be quite large yeah ten thousands. looks like the size of a super earth got some uh, more moons around it as well but yeah we can see the starlight is starting to dim so we can see 161 au away so pretty far pretty pretty far so the star itself as well we didn't check the stats actually so the star itself 44 luminosity of sun it's a lot bigger than the sun in um, radius so there we go 8.31 and then mass is two suns so there we go Alrighty. right where are we heading next okay so we've got a mega jupiter and it is a uh, rocky planet right interesting so here we go but it's very large in size either way so there we go so studio mode it's got all the colors on it so there we go we can see what it looks like as a gas giant just in case it glitched but yeah there you go so that's what it looked like it was a gas giant but then back to what it was before all right there we go but yes uh pretty weird how it's a mega jupiter but it's a rocky planet but oh well but there we go and then more moons so there we go some more uh, default moons um in orbit of this guy there so there we go so that is the mega jupiter i mean size wise yes definitely it's a mega jupiter but it's not really a gas giant. So, yeah, 2.37 Jupiters. So yeah, pretty large. All right, on to the next object. We have got another gas giant out here. This one's also around similar size to the first one we saw. It's also got a set of rings as well. Look at that little ring going around it there. And then we have got one moon. So, there we go. Bit of oceans on there. Bit of lakes and stuff. Realistic mode is completely dark. So, we'll be staying on studio for the time being there. There we go. All right, next object. We've got Mora over here. Right, so it's uh, just a little asteroid uh, by the looks of it. Yep, just chilling. Little asteroid very far out. Uh, 821 AU there. Right, and then the last object of the system for today, we have got Wario over here. So here we go. So yeah, mostly orange color. Looks like there's some reddish areas on it as well. Yeah, very, very bright reddish areas there. Quite a nice looking world, actually, Wario there. So there we go. Looks like it's got that weird uh, glitch going on, but yeah, we'll just look on the good side. So there we go. Quite a good-looking desert-like world there. It's at minus 255, though, so yeah, we're not going to be getting any sunlight at this distance. I mean, this is sort of Sedna levels of distance here, so yeah, very, very far out. And then it also has two moons of its um, own over here. This one's got an atmosphere. No idea how this water isn't frozen. Uh, yeah, minus 270, that should be frozen. But yeah, there we go. City lights on it, though, so there you go. Realistic mode. So yeah, there are the city lights. Yeah, but yeah, this distance, you're not getting any starlight whatsoever. So very, very dark. But yeah, there we go, guys. That does it for this system today. So yeah, again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Reset, for sending this in. And yeah, this was the DTAR system updated. So we get a lineup of all the objects in here. So here we go. Right, really like the star, though, I have to say. It's not often we talk about the stars in these episodes. But yeah, there you go. Really, really like the star color there. Very nice choice indeed. I'm really looking forward to making this year's size comparison, actually with all the new um, options we can do here. But yeah, I definitely want to get back into making my own systems with all of the city light colors and stuff we can do now. I reckon I can make something pretty cool. Um, there, yeah, guys, let me know if you want me to, uh, if you want to see me start to make systems again. So um, yeah, I, I miss doing it, I have to say. But anyways, out onto the planets. So the gas giants, for me, they were just default ones. There's not really anything custom to pick between. But for the Rockies, really like Wario here. I also like this one, the Kepler one here. The, um, yeah, the... Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that noise outside, but it's just a loud bike or something. But um, yeah, so the uh, reddish um, lava there with the oceans at the same time. I mean, it's just, a, I'm pretty sure it's a glitch, but maybe there's a way you can do it to make objects like this. But either way, don't know if it was intentional or not, but it looks pretty awesome to me. So yeah, there we go. So 500 degrees there, very, very hot. And then onto the rest of the planets. I did like that Mars, although we can't view it because it seems to be completely glitched out. I mean, it's not even shown up on the object list here, but we know it is in here because it was on the here it is. So, actually, no, where where has the Mars gone? Now, that is very peculiar, Mars. So, there's a, the game isn't registering any Mars, but when we zoomed out, there was a Mars. Yeah, the, the green trail. Damn, there's a ghost planet in here. That wasn't on the list. Someone please tell me where the Mars is. Mars. Spooky ghost planet, I guess. <laughs> Where, where's this object? It is a ghost. There's no tag for it either. Look, trails off. It doesn't register as a object with a name. How very peculiar. That is a mystery. That is very strange. But yeah, it's got a glitch Mars in here. Very, very weird indeed. But yeah, cool. But yeah, there we go, guys. That does it for the system. 
So yeah, there we go. Really like the star color there. But yeah, again, a massive thank you to the creator of the system for sending this in. So yeah, reset on Discord. Massive thank you to them. But yeah, guys, if you want to send in your own systems for this series, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And then you can just um, upload them in there. And then um, I can get around to doing them for one of these videos um, at some points. So, yeah, you can do that. Or you can let me know name, the name of your system on the workshop in the comments. But please know doing that is a less reliable way of getting them in because some comments go in the spam box. Some I may not see. So yeah, just please keep that in mind. The Discord is a lot more... Um, a lot easier way to get your systems in for these videos. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, a massive thank you for watching today's video. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. Let's see if we can go for 20 likes on today's video, guys. And yeah, make sure you guys all stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.